Welcome back to the channel, amazing people. We're gonna be checking out Chains for Real newest upload, the three man mission. Now, what's so crazy, man? I went on a three man mission. Well, not three, I mean two. It was a while back. If you ever been on a three man mission or two man mission, put in that comment section right now. Hey guys, my name is Number One It Girl. You can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. Hello everybody, my name is Mia. You can follow me on TikTok at Mia and or Instagram at FMG415 underscore. Have a good day. Take care. Hi everybody, it's me, Didi. I posted a new YouTube video on uh, Dr. Disrespect, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you can check it out on my YouTube channel at Kalia Delgado. Instagram is also Kalia.Delgado. TikTok is CowgirlDZ. If you like to watch random things, you can follow me over there and come to my lives. And Twitch is Emo Toaster. Thank y'all. I'm on the road to 1K. So please subscribe and like all my videos. And I'll give you a kiss on the forehead. Both bring a friend. Oh, man, what could possibly be better than a two-man mission? Three! When you go on a three-man mission, you need to be able to trust those homies with your life, bro. Because I don't know why, but 100% of the time you go on a three-man mission, somebody's got to take one for the team, bro. Like, it's just inevitable. And if your homie isn't willing to eat Yo, the shit... I know what that is. It got to be the ugly one. Look at that. That's a man with a beard. I see a little fuzzle. That's a beard right there. Girl. Oh, that my God. Big oh. Yeah. I think it's because she's tall. Yeah, yeah. she's a tall girl. Magna that's Stalin. messed up. Magna Stalin, that's what it is. It's sandwich. In order to see the gang succeed, the entirety of the gang is eating the shit sandwich, bro. And on top of that, you need your homies to have your back when you crack a shitty ass joke. Because if you're in a group of six people and not a soul laughs, yeah, yeah, nah, you're done, bro. Like, you're cooked. You're yeah. sauteed, bro. Like, pack it up. It's over with. Like, <clears throat> yo, guys, what do you get when you mix human DNA with goat DNA? Oh, my God. What do you get? Wait, no, let me guess. Let me guess. Uh, No, I don't know. What do you get? Kicked out the petting zoo. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Right. Soul, 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 soul. Actually, that's a really good joke. <laughs> Facts. Wait, it was? And lucky for me, I got the two most perfect dudes for the job. Bob, Bob and Billy. So you Bob know we Billy. were no the strangers to the game. Like, we had 99 oh, chemistry, bro. We were like Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman setting up these plays, passing, alley-ooping, and dunking that shit. In these streets, they called us the real big three. And one day, the real big <laughs> three hopped on a plane to Mexico. And this story takes Mexico, place okay. way, 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 way back like, like a month ago. And this story doesn't just oh. contain one three man, not two three mans, but three different three man missions. And with these three different chances, will me, Bob, and Billy be able to find love in Mexico? Or will oh. we get set up and kidnapped oh. by the cartel? Ooh. Find out coming up on this <laughs> episode of Billy, Bob, and Chains. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So, boom, we get to Mexico and we're staying at an Airbnb. So we start mm -hmm. with all the essentials. We unpack, get some food, check out the rooms, download Tinder, play some music, get settled in. You oh, know, my gosh. Shit like that. Oh, wow. Some of you may be thinking, damn, Chains, Tinder? Shit, I, I didn't know you were down <laughs> bad like that. And let me just clear this up, all right? I'm not, okay? I'm down horrendous. And you really don't know me at all if you thought I was going to leave Mexico without running a three-man with the homies. So I'm just doing what I got to do. Don't hate the player, hate the game. So we got there on a Monday, and for the first few days, we're exploring. We're trying some food, going to the beaches. Yeah, it's great, you know, a bunch of nice and relaxing shit. But at night, it was grind time, bro. I was swiping more than a girl with daddy's money, and I was shooting more shots than Drizzy Drake. Whoa. At his local middle school. So by the time Thursday rolled around, I secured the first three man mission okay. of the trip. And when I told the boys, they were hyped. That actually got to be hard if I found two other mans for the uh, guys. That got to be actually yeah. complicated. I understand another guy, just two people. Three man mission could be kind of complicated. I'm going to be honest. You know, that could be hard. I thought she was gonna say something, yeah, because your mouth is open. I ain't gonna lie, that's why I paused. I just, I, I just like a, a brief question, if I may. Yeah. They, it basically means like they want to like engage in intimacy that night, right? Like all three of them, like that. More or less. Sometimes it doesn't always lead to that. Sometimes it's just more so like maybe one person wants to get it on with another person, but like uh, they have friends who are there, so you got to bring a friend for somebody else's friend, so you could get uh, them alone. 
Yeah. Pretty much. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's some type of mission that at the sense. end got to be accomplished, you know. And I'm not Bob, Diego. I mean, Bob was so excited, <laughs> dude almost made a facial expression. So before we went out, we had to get teed up. And lucky for us, we spent half our food budget on a few bottles of vodka. So we're absolutely down in that shit until our Uber pulls up. We hop in the Uber and get dropped off by some bars where we plan to meet the girls. Now keep in mind, at this point, all I've seen of this girl is pictures. And you know there's a brutal catfishing epidemic going on. So let's just say it's completely in the realm of possibility that I set up a link with three big buff mexican dudes and lord knows i'm crossing my fingers <laughs> like, like like no no like hopefully there's like no big buff mexican i don't i don't want uh the big buff mexican dude so my heart dropped to my balls when i got a tap on my shoulder and turned around to see a not so buff mexican dude with another not so buff mexican dude with the three girls oh, hey, hey oh no don't worry these are just my friends by the way it's a red flag Hey, oh, no. that makes oh, okay, sense. Okay, yeah. Oh, so I know why. Not I know why I now. Believe yeah. that she wasn't a jack dude, Just but she case. was fine, nice, and she spoke English. Same with Bob's oh, girl and Billy. Oh. Yeah, nah, he had to take one for the team for sure. Hey, bro, uh -oh. I'm sorry, but but this is just the way the cookie crumbled. Shit, bro, C can we get another cookie? It's too late, bro, it's already crumbled. And Billy <laughs> took that shit like a I champ. Been hot so hot. all eight of us go to a bar and <laughs> we're just talking, getting to know each other yeah. and shit. And I noticed Billy just keeps the tequila shots coming. I mean, we were only 10 minutes into the yeah. conversation, <laughs> but this dude is 10 shots deep at this point. And all of a sudden, this dude starts laying down that Google Translate Riz, and he's dropping hard hard eye emojis and shit and i'm like okay. damn respect i, oh, I mean he's wow. taking this extremely well and after about 30 minutes of talking to this girl i look over at billy and i start to see some wild ass emojis being thrown around <laughs> like oh shit bob yo I, I think billy forgot he's the one taking one for the team so me and bob cut him off uh -oh. with the tequila and then my girl is like <laughs> hey do, do you guys want to come over to our place yes, oh yeah I'm hell yeah <laughs> oh, she's it's, gonna blow it. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. So we hop in their whip and go to their crib. And at this point, it's getting kind of late. So we're just chilling, listening to music and things of that nature. When me and Bob realize Billy and his girl are nowhere to be seen. Oh, you know what? He took her to the bedroom. Oh. He's gonna get hey, Billy getting goaded. Yeah, he is, though. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. He was supposed to take it for a team, but he took it too serious, though. That tequila got to him, though. I he said, y'all taking it for the team. I'm going to take Honestly, it. Honestly, like, if the girl's showing him a good time, why not? Yeah, why not? You in Mexico, too. What, stays in Mex I mean, what happens in Mexico stays in Mexico, exactly. but clearly not. But Exactly. So I turn to Bob, and I'm like, yo, sh sh should we, like, should we stop him? Damn, bro, you're right. We can't let him do that shit. And listen, bro, I I've never been the type of dude to cock block. Yeah, but if it's block, the yeah, homie yeah. who's about to interlock with the chalk chick at this o'clock, I'll walk up, knock and lock and block that cock if Jeez. I have to. And so I did just that. I walked up, knocked, of course, unlocked the door, and respectfully... Aww. I blocked that cock. Yo, what are you doing? Uh, what the I'm uh, take, taking one for the team, remember? Nah, nah. I, I think the team's doing just fine, But bro. you know me. I was I was got to do it for the team. Like for nah, the... I don't think the team needs this one, gang. No, no, no. Remember, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be, like, taking it for the team. Like, this is for the... You want it so bad. Yeah. You he wants Let's it, like... home, Billy. No, wait. Well, how are we going to get home? Yo. We're in Mexico. Man, shut the... So we said our goodbyes, <laughs> got in the Uber, <laughs> and man, I felt like... Like a basketball coach whose son just lost to a special needs team, bro. Hey, listen, bro. I, I had a lot of tequila tonight. I'm sorry. I, I just like Billy, Billy. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Damn, bro. I just. That's I, crazy. I, 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 and the next morning we woke up and I'm not oh, gonna okay. lie, we felt it a little bit, especially Billy. Billy was in physical and mental agony, but we have a secret method to get rid of any hangover instantly. It, it's it. called vodka. So we're practically eating what? this bottle for breakfast. And once everyone was healed up, we hit the beach and had a fantastic day. It was stupendous, really. And once the sun started to set, we got some food uh -oh. and man.
it was gas, bro. I had the best nachos yeah. of my life. And as I'm consuming this orgasmic meal, I get a little <laughs> notification on my phone from a new girl. Yo, you got any friends? Mm, oh, oh, shit. Yes, and I'm like, hell, oh, yup. Then she's like, I'm going out with some friends tonight. You guys should come. And I'm like, hell, yup. And just like that, we secured minutes. our second so three. Man, mission. So we absolutely house that fucking meal, go back to the crib, get ready, tee up, you know the drill. We hop in the Uber and get dropped off in the same area where the clubs and bars are to meet these girls. And when we get there, Bob and Billy are both praying they don't gotta take one for the team this time. And I'm there just chilling like, yo, this is why I set up the three mans, cause then I never have to take one for the chains, is that you? Oh, oh shit, uh, uh, who's asking? <laughs> it's me, Sarah. Oh, no way. Really? <laughs> Like, like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, no. You must be looking for the other chains. No, don't worry. This happens all the time. Oh, no, no, no. Chain, chains for real. Yeah, uh, look at this. This is you. Oh, fuck. Would you look at that? <laughs> ah, I, I guess it is me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like shit. I don't know how she did it, but she got my ass, bro. I got catfished nicely. But I guess it was just my turn yeah, to take catfish. one for the team. And I look up at who she brought, and she pulled up with four straight dimes for the homies oh. to choose from. Dang. Well, well, well we better leave her behind. Personality. I know he was mad, though. They got four. That's crazy, though. Then, then he can't say, no, I don't want you. I want your friends, because it's going to make him look bad. <laughs> That's crazy. That's no, yeah. that's all bad. Yeah, he might be one to watch what he says. He might actually end up in the back of that bus. Yeah, he might. <laughs> Bro, why me? So we're walking, and the girl I'm temporarily associated with is like, hey, let's go to the club. Yeah, let's go. So we go to this club, eight people deep, and the girls are like, yeah, let's buy let's a bottle. Yeah. Oh, where's your money? <laughs> que? No entiendo. Oh, yeah, I could have swore you spoke English. Oh, yeah, no, no, I I'm fluent for sure. Yeah, yeah. You said you wanted a bottle, right? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got bottle money? Ah, no entiendo. Money. No entiendo. No hablo inglés. And now I'm starting to get the vibe that whole time, these girls just wanted a free yeah, bottle. Funny. And as soon as I start catching on, yeah. she starts upping her game. Like, oh, my God, you're so strong. Look at these muscles. So I go to give Billy one of those side eyes. And when I look over, these motherfuckers are completely completely lost in the sauce. Yeah, yeah. I'm buying a bottle, yeah. everyone bottles on me. So Billy I'm pulls me yo, aside like, yo, we gotta split a bottle, bruh. Nah, I'm really not fucking with this girl. Come on, bruh, please. I need it, bruh. Just, just take one for the team. Come on, take one for the team. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'll split it with you. Thank you, bro. I got you. So are you guys getting a bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're getting a bottle. <laughs> oh my God, you're so strong and you're a baller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baller, the fuck? I don't know, bro. She's weird as hell. Yo, uh, can I get a bottle for this table? Yeah, for sure. What do you want? Listen, bro. Just give me the cheapest shit you got. Oh, I cheapest. feel you, bro. <laughs> Times are tough, you know. <laughs> That'll be a uh, thousand one hundred. God damn, that's a lot of pesos. Thousand one hundred. Pesos. Yeah, like, uh, thousand one hundred. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of pesos. Nah, amigo, that's USD <laughs> plus five hundred dollars to walk into you. With Whoa. I don't care. Whoa. I don't care. What Whoa. is they drinking to be a thousand dollars? Yeah, they had a fancy one. No wonder they Ooh. wanted them to meet up to get that bottle. Dang. That's a premium bottle. It do make sense because why would he she bring four girls though? It makes perfect sense. They're like, yeah, we're gonna get these. Yeah. Girls. They had to split the fee just to get in the club. Yeah, they did. That's crazy. crazy. The wow. Chicago fee of three fifty, and for the tip, it'll uh, it'll just cost you your left testicle. Oh, no, that's my favorite nut, bro. Yo, Billy, <laughs> we don't got it like that. Yeah, hell no. Nah. Let's just not get it, bro. At least these girls are already fucking with us without it, though, right? Yeah, yeah, facts. Yo, uh, we're. Uh, we're not gonna get the bottle. Oh, why What's not? Get it? You can just you can just buy it. It's not that big a deal. Nah, nah. It's uh, it's cause we uh. <clears throat> Body, you got it. Uh, we don't got enough money. They oh. fucking dipped, bro. Quick as hell, too. Oh. They all just evacuated, bruh. No, bruh. That was my wifey. And I'm just over <laughs> here thinking, damn, I'm just glad I didn't have to see that shit through, bruh. But Billy, yeah, he was really going through it. Damn.
uh, until they got distracted by some other random girls in the club. So at this point, club, all three of us are on the dance floor, absolutely uh, fucking that uh, shit up, when I start getting spammed on my phone. So I go to check who it is, and it's the gold digger girl. Like, hey, we, we all went to the club right beside it, but we, we can all split this bottle. It'll be $86 per person, plus tip. That'll, that'll be 85 each. And she's literally telling me the whole price breakdown of this bottle. She, she pretty much just sent my ass an invoice. And I'm like, hell nah. I don't care if that shit would have been free. There is no way I'm ever gonna see this girl ever again. And then I get a tap on my shoulder and it's three big buff oh! Mexican dudes. Nah, I'm just playing. It was the oh gold digger God. girl. But this time, I probably would have preferred the buff dudes. Because this girl grabs me by the arm, pulls me outside with all her homies and starts breaking down the price again. Okay, the bottle is $700, but you what? just gotta pay 95 oh, so each. Okay, so yeah, we're in. Let's do it. <laughs> no, what? B Billy, chill. So I call an emergency meeting with the homies and we huddle up and i'm like listen you guys can go with them if you want but there's no way i'm going and paying for this girl's bottle fuck that bro you're right we, we could find something better for sure so we jump ship absolutely abort mission yo what's that over there i'm not stupid i'm not falling for that shit nah is that jeff bezos yo, handing out free bottles to catfishes wait 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 what <laughs> where, where, where so we evacuate and start roaming the streets when i get a tap on my shoulder i take a deep breath Turn around. And it's the girls from the OG3, man. Like, oh, oh my god, OG. James, what are the chances? Oh, Yo, what's up? Yeah. And me and Bob are hyped, but Billy's over here having traumatic anime flashbacks. Oh, you guys friend. should come with us. We know the best spot here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Bet. Fuck. So they take us to this club <laughs> bar thing, and it's fucking bumping. But as soon as we get inside, Billy disappears, bro. And I don't what? even blame him. He's staying as far away from this girl as possible. Not because he's scared of what she's gonna do, but because deep down, he's scared of what he might do. But regardless, me and Bob continue to respectfully obliterate the dance floor for about an hour straight. And then the girls are like, hey, it's getting kind of late, so we're gonna head out now. I bet, I bet. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. And once me and Bob had officially <laughs> decimated the dance floor beyond repair, we realized there's an upstairs that leads to a balcony. So, of course, me and Bob go to explore that shit. And as we walk out onto the balcony, we see Billy with this one girl who looks our age, who happens to have a friend who also looks our age. And once again, Billy is absolutely laying down that Google Translate riz, but yeah, this time, oh, this time he's really cooking. God. So, me and Bob start talking to her friend named Mia. I get her Instagram, and then Billy's like, all right, let's go. The Uber's here. U Uber? Oh. Uber to where? Oh, yeah, no, nah, my bad. I, I forgot to tell you, but uh, Camilla and me are coming back to the B&B. What the fuck? What? Nah, don't you think we gotta discuss shit like that? Uh, nah. Bro, what? All right, Uber's here. Let's go. So Billy and the girls go to the Uber, but me and Bob stay back to discuss what the actual fuck is going on right now. Yo, this is a bad idea, right? But we can't let them do this shit alone. <laughs> shit, Bob. Do we even have a choice? So we leave the bar and start walking to the Uber like when this girl stops me and she's like, Hi, what's your name? <laughs> oh, I'm Chains. What, what's your name? Oh, my name's Sophia. And Sophia's trying to make some small talk and shit like that, but Billy's already waiting in the Uber. So I'm like, well, it was nice to meet you, but I gotta go. Oh, well, let me get your Instagram real quick. So I give her my phone. She follows herself and then gives me my phone back. And when I lay my eyes on the screen, I realize we have a mutual. And I'm just surprised because... Uh, oh, we're in wow. Mexico, Mexico bro. Yeah, so I go to check who it is, the and it's girls. Mia. Oh, and at this oh. moment, everything started oh. piecing itself together to make our third three man mission. So I'm like, yo, <laughs> you smile. know Mia? Oh, Mia? Th that's like my best friend. Why? Word? You mean this Mia? No oh my god, way. Mia. So Sophia yeah. hops in the whip, and we're all just yeah. talking. And then that Mia cold. says, that was a yeah, so like, uh, we don't Go have it. work. That's a that was golden. That was a coincidence right there. That was so golden. Yeah, you know, that was oh coincidence. What the odds? Yeah tomorrow oh shit did you guys work together yeah, yeah we do. damn what do you guys do <laughs> oh you know uh we dance well, uh, mm. well, where, where do you guys dance like dancing uh, dance. like like, like in the club oh shit yeah <laughs> That's what's up. Uh, That's in the club. Uh, yo, yo, how old are you guys, by the way? Uh, 21. 24. Uh, 25. Damn. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> do you guys happen to have any, uh, 
You guys happen to have kids by chance? Of course, I have yeah, two. I have a baby yeah, boy. Yeah, uh, one exactly. of them is a three-year-old boy. I only have two daughters. Oh, fuck. Yo, Bob, you think it's too late to uh, you know, abort mission? And I don't know how, but none of that information seemed to phase Billy in the slightest. Because now he's out here making out with this girl like... Fuck them kids, bro. <laughs> and the whole car ride, I'm just thinking, what the fuck is going on, bro? But soon enough, we arrive. We all hop out of the whip, go to our BNB, put in the code for the lockbox, get the key, unlock the door, and go inside. Now, for context, the crib had two couches and a master bedroom. And that bedroom is where I used to sleep. And I say used to because as soon as we got to the BNB, Billy and Camila went straight to my room and start. Uh, pl playing patty cake loud as hell too, and so all of us are just sitting on the couch like, oh, oh, uh, uh, hola, <laughs> como estas? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and this motherfucker Billy was just making oh. up for every single time he had to take one for the oh, team. Clappy. And after th the longest 20 minutes of my life, Yo, Billy walks out of the room smiling from ear to <laughs> ear like, what? <laughs> hey, I see a little dance. <laughs> they was going crazy in there. He had to make up though. Billy had to make up, man. Well, why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> Shit, you guys could hear that? Then Billy cops the girls in Uber, they dip, and I'm looking at Billy like, bro, what, what, like, what the actual fuck just happened? Hey, man, listen, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, you are crazy. And at this point, it was probably 4 a.m. or something. So I go to my room to look at where I'm supposed to sleep. And there's a bunch of looped up rappers on my bed. And I'm not talking diddy. So needless to say, after a long night, I slept on the couch. And we all woke up rotten, bro. So rotten, even the vodka method wouldn't work. So we decided if anything could make us feel better, it would be a plate of the world's best nachos. So we get ready, leave the crib, and then Billy's like... Like, yo, who's got the key? Shit, I don't got it. Bob, you got it? I, I mean, it's probably on the counter where we always put it, right? Yeah, facts. We check the counter. It's not there. We check the tables. Not there. We check the couches. Bedroom, kitchen. Nowhere to be seen. So we scavenge the entirety of the air... What you think happened, Didi? What you say? They took the key. They got Niki on them and took the key. Slick. That's crazy. That was a good game. B and B. We even looked through every single bag of garbage, and it was nowhere, bro. Did those girls finesse our key? Nah, nah. C Camilla wouldn't do some shit yeah. like that. She would, bro. Yeah, you don't even know bro, her. No, this she is wouldn't. Your How fault. would you, you know brought her? You to don't the know crib. her, bro. I know her better club. than you know her. Mia texted hey. me. She said, "Let's go to the pool today." Oh shit. Uh, Camilla texted me the same thing. Damn. And in my what? head, I'm thinking it's about it. And I'm putting everything together. Shit. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, I think so. These girls stole the key and invited us to the pool so the crib would be empty so they could get three big buff. Mexican dudes to pull up and loot the crib. <laughs> Fuck, I knew it. Oh, she got my ass, bro. So hell no, we didn't go to the pool with them. And for the next few days, we were on high alert. We would only leave the crib in pairs. And one dude would stay back, strapped up with kitchen knives, ready to take on three <laughs> big buff <laughs> Until it was Monday, the night before our flight home. So we're packing everything, getting ready to go home. And I hear Billy shout, uh, Chains? Yo, what's up? Yo, guess what I got? Bro. Uh, chlamydia? No. Gonorrhea? What? No. Herpes? No, no. It's in my suitcase. Your suitcase got herpes? No, no, no. It's the key. How the fuck? I don't know. Well, you had a key the whole time. See, you look. Dang. I. Now they missed their like, last three missions. Could have went to the pool, though, but now those being secure. I was thinking they could have went to the pool. Oh, my goodness. That's what happened. Wow. Man. Wow, 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 that wow, funny, wow. That was a funny story, though. The trip to Mexico is kind of crazy, though. <laughs> but yeah, man. Have y'all ever went on a double date with somebody? Or we ain't gonna say too many. A double date? Yeah, anyone? I've been on a double date before. Yeah. And it was actually with my ex-boyfriend. Like, I went with somebody and my friend was dating my ex. So we all went on a double your date. Your friend was dating your ex? <laughs> yeah. She went... <laughs> We were in we were in like like early high school. We we oh. only I went to a private Christian school, so like can you imagine my my graduating class had thirty people in it, and I oh, was wow. class president. 
So I mean, as long that, as you didn't care, we, you didn't, as long as you didn't care, then yeah. matter, then you didn't care. So that, me, I'm not letting that. that I ain't letting that happen. Ain't that right? And we, we ain't letting that. Happen. <laughs> I am not letting that happen. <laughs> 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 I <don't know. laughs> and then she ended up dating him. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, that's crazy though. She wanted <laughs> she wanted your or dude the whole time. Well, that's crazy. No, I, I I think I think he just never made up his mind because all of us were all ethnic, and he was a white boy with blonde hair. He he didn't know what to do. He couldn't believe his eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he couldn't, you can't. Hey, he was folding, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe. And if you ever had a two mission or a double day or three man mission, four man mission. Four man mission is crazy. I never heard of that. That's if you do a four man mission, you just on God mode at that point. I don't know what's wrong with you. That's a party. That's a house party. That's a house party. At that point. It's not even a, yeah, you might as well call it kickback. But yeah, man, go follow all these women on social media. It's gonna be in the description. Peace.